Would you like to get your FPS cut in half just to get a little bit better HDR that you might not be able to tell if it is actually better? We're talking about a future with ray traced HDR. Okay, this is it. Give it a try. And if you know, if you have experimented with this before and you actually, if you can tell the difference, uh, let me know, <laughs> okay? Because I've been, I was excited about it, okay? There's a setting here, it's called Enable 128-bit HDR Remastering, which sounds like, wow, and it hurts performance. And on top of that, we have this remaster 11 bits render passes and 10 bits and whatever. I've been trying to turn this on and off back again, trying to see, man, is this making a difference? It looks very good to me. It looks very good, but I, I just cannot tell the difference. And even if I look at the graph, okay, this reshade graph, it looks uh, like segmented. Like you see some horizontal lines on the graph, and that is when that, that happens when you don't have 10 bits, basically. That happens with 8 bits to 10 bits conversions and all of that. And it looks kind of uh, broken like this, see? This is normal, like when I use the Major Pain the Cactus mod, this happens, okay? Because we are like forcing HDR10 over SDR, there's a conversion happening, and that's, what, that's what's going on. I don't understand how these things work, okay? So I would like to know what is going on, because usually in this game I can get like 120 FPS, and when I use this, I... It's just not, it's, it's not possible. I mean, I get like 40 FPS hit or something like that. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, so I, it's, it's definitely doing something. I just cannot tell. <laughs> so I want to share with you some tips, some things that I've learned now with uh, a special K, thanks to some of the comments on the previous video. Um, yes, Tech, thank you. I pinned that comment. Also, well, I forgot, like three people told me about this uh, later on, which is basically how to get, how to use reshade with a special K at the same time. Instead of installing reshade on the game and then use a special K, that's not the best option. The best option is to have reshade as a plugin, as a plugin for a special K. So when you open the game with a special K, you can scroll down here to plugins, and then you add reshade. So now, if you ask me right now the step-by-step -step process, I don't know. <laughs> so there is like a guide on the special K website. I didn't read that. I just try it. Okay, I just try click here. You know how PC things are sometimes when you do, really don't understand exactly what to do. You start clicking and copying and pasting things to one place and it, finally until it works, that's what I did. <laughs> so I couldn't tell you exactly what to do here because when you come down here to third party, let me see if I increase the, the size here. Yeah, when you come down here, I was trying to check the box where it says reshade official and it was just not working. I click here, it's not working, it's not letting me check the box. And then what I think what I did was to add plugin here. I click here and add plugin, then I add um, the .inei uh, file, I think the .dxgi uh, file that Reshade creates. And then when I restart the game, I think it worked. Something like that. <laughs> I might do a tutorial once I do it for more games and I figured it out. I will do a tutorial to make this very clear because right now it is not clear to me. But the thing is, reshade and a special K, there has to be a priority. Okay, so which one is acting first, which one is acting later? And that's why it is important to to use it this way so you don't get crashes. Because I was showing you in the previous video, I was getting crashes with this thing. So now it works and it works very well. So you can use, for example, you can use the Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix Shader, which I am using here and I think it is beneficial. 
I am enabling this SDR black floor emulation. Let me show you here. Let me make this bigger. Very, very important to have this option uh, available because it is difficult to get the contrast and the gamma uh, of the image with a special K perfect. It's very difficult. You have to use your eyes and it's just not, um, it's just not, not straightforward easy. So now it is not working here when I click probably because I have this open. So let me close this special K. See if it works now. Yeah. So let me show you. This is what I use here. SD enable SDR black floor emulation. This is the Lilium's HDR black floor fix. And then I increase this to 250. And I look at the graph and look at the game. More importantly, you have to look at the game. Um, look at the contrast. I mean, we need to get some experience uh, to get the best out of these things because I don't I don't know yet something you can just look at exactly to tweak the settings you have to look at the game use your experience and you have to tweak the gamma here on special K you have to tweak this gamma setting this um, SDR HDR gamma okay so the default is like 995 I increase it a little bit just to get a more contrast and then I have to use the Lilium's HDR black floor fix uh, enable SDR emulation to get the best picture quality in my opinion but if this is not like set in stone I would need to play the game more and just look at it and then after a lot of testing and when you actually play the game you're testing it at the same time that's what I do <laughs> okay I no longer play games only just like okay just open the game I'm playing it no, <laughs> I am testing the game at the same time. It's just the way it is. Okay, that's how I I play the games now. So while while I'm playing the game, I'm looking at the black level, the contrast, the highlights. Like is everything okay? Everything is everything perfect to my eyes. And then I start tweaking the setting, tweaking the settings. And then you will see that you know if you tweak the settings for a specific scene it looks perfect then you go to a different scene it's no longer perfect so you have to find out that balance that that makes everything look as correct to your eyes as possible and that's what matters to me okay creator's intent here is like there's no creator's intent there's no hdr here okay so you have to be your own the creator of your own experience here that's what i encourage everyone to be just create your own experience. Learn to work with all these tools and get the best out of it. And if you know better, if you have some experience, let me know so I can get a boost. <laughs> okay. So other things that I've been uh, trying here is uh, also Bruno Moraes, another of the superstars we have here on the channel. He told me that there was a setting that improves... Um, the stability of the of the performance of the game it has to do with the CPU and I tried that I don't see the difference but I'm gonna share that with you in case you you try it and you do see the difference so when you come here to widgets you click on threads and you get this thing here so Bruno told me that here where it says ancillary render thread instead of critical change this to high and that has to do with the CPU and that would like give you more stability more, more like a better frame pacing or something like that I would need to test this a lot to tell the difference and you know how it is maybe in one game you're going to see a massive difference and another game you're not gonna see any difference but I'd give it a try <laughs> and I don't really know yeah, I mean, I have no idea what's going on here. This is like pretty advanced <laughs> stuff. So, I don't know. Give it a try. The other thing I'm using here, of course, is the NVIDIA Ultra Low Latency and Boost just to get a better input lag. And it works. That I can tell the difference. And yeah, the thing is that using all these tools and using all the HDR remasters, my FPS is just it's like very bad so I wouldn't play the game like this I have to still test more this 
to find the performance, okay? Because when I tried this game initially, I tried the SDR HDR trick for OLED Motion Pro High, which I'm using right now, so my camera can can capture this better because if I turn OLED Motion Pro High off, it is too bright for my camera, and then I have to lower the settings so much that you cannot see my face. So, so you just you can see this thing. So initially, I test this with the SDR HDR trick. You see, this is like too bright. <laughs> So when I test this with the SDR HDR trick, the FPS was, the performance was very, very good. Like I was getting a rock solid 100 FPS at 100 Hz for All Emotion Pro and I could get 120 with DLSS performance. So that was DLSS balance and all the settings max out. But then when I started using these things, I realized, okay, well, I, I cannot get even 100 FPS. And yeah, so... <laughs> It is, it is brutal, brutal performance. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, are you giving a special K a try? Okay, I'm definitely testing it. And I know this is, this might not be for everybody, okay? A lot of people want like a very easy solution that works for everything. The SDR, HDR trick, just use that. Okay, I share that with you. I share options that are very easy, very consistent, that work for most games. The SDR HDR trick is for most people. Because all you have to do is turn on HDR on Windows 11, max out that SDR HDR slider, and you use the ICC profile I share with you for most games. And if you're crushing blacks, which is, is going to be very easy to tell, you're just not going to see in the darkness. Then you default back to the HDR calibration app. That setup is very simple. I mean, it just doesn't take any tweakings, no effort. It just works. But I would encourage everyone to try everything. Try everything because we pay a lot for this gaming experience, okay? Think about how much you have to pay for an HDR display like this your PC, and think about how many hours you know, we spend playing the game. So it is a, it's a huge investment on our, in our time, on our effort, our money. We have to learn how to get the best out of it. It just makes sense. So I would encourage everyone to try all these things, okay? And just don't go crazy with it. Okay, I, sometimes I'm testing like all day and I don't play anything. Don't do that. You can just say, okay, man, let me try this remaster 11 bits only before and after. Okay, one day I'm going to play without it. One day I'm going to play with it. I just play the game, see if I can tell any difference. That's it. You know, one, one thing at a time. You don't have to discover like every secret in a single day. Okay, sometimes, sometimes I try to do that and it's just impossible. Okay. We have to understand that it is normal that we just have to learn these things slowly. But one thing at a time, over time, we, we're going to learn a lot, okay? And I, I feel like I've learned a lot doing this because imagine, I mean, every single day I try to <laughs> record a video. Sometimes I cannot. Yesterday I was like, man, I'm trying all these things. What am I going to tell you? I cannot tell the difference. What am I going to tell you? Well, I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> I try it and I cannot tell the difference. <laughs> That's what it is. You tell me where, where, what the difference is or where can, I, where can I see it? So, yeah. That's what we're doing here so far. I mean, I want to talk about other things too. Not only HDR, but I feel like this is a very... This is necessary to do because there's not a lot of content on YouTube about this, okay? There's not a lot of content and a lot of videos about Special K either. So I think this content is necessary, okay? And I feel like I can offer a perspective that is um, different, especially after I figured it out. And I have to do a video like this to get some feedback so I can learn faster, okay? So somebody tells me, hey, don't use Rich, don't install Rich to the game. <laughs> added as a plugin. I could figure that out for myself just by using the tool more 
And then, I, you know, once I start trying one by one, let me see what this does, this does, and I come down here one day, like a month later or something, and I, oh, plugins, a oh, third party reshade, oh, let me try it. And I might figure it out at the end, but I learn faster when I make these videos. So I don't have conclusions for you every day, but if you want to come along in this learning journey, come and we'll learn together and figure these things out. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.